Well, it's kind of like a time machine, isn't it? Isn't that kind of what... what Recorded I, I music? A, you know, a friend of mine has this incredible song about how a tape recorder is a time machine. It's beautiful. It and is. And it's true. And it's like they're trying to, like, as much as they can, zoom in or tune in to that moment in time when whatever they're listening to is recorded to almost bring it to life. Whereas when you listen to other regular sound systems, what we all listen to, it's cool, but it's still massively distorted. You're not getting the real taste of what it distorted, is. Distorted, it just doesn't have the same amount of, the amount of information that conveyed is, is just tiny. There's not much information. You're something of a music expert, aren't you? Yes. You really are. Like people, when people, we were just, who was I talking? Oh yeah, I was playing that beautiful jazz album that you got Which me. one? The Something Tear. Oh, the inflated tear. The inflated tear. I see you're caring for your oh, records. Oh God, I knew you. Were, I, I, right after I brought it up, I knew you were gonna look over at my stack of records on top of each other and just uh, get mad. I almost wish I didn't mention it, but yeah. having a friend like you is really important because they, it's so nice to have someone who's dipping their fingers into all that weird music that's floating out there and bringing it back and showing it to you. Because otherwise, I never would have heard that before. That What's his name? Rashawn Rollenkirk. And he's blind. He's blind, yeah. He used to do a lot of acid, too. Rashawn Rollenkirk. Rashawn Rollenkirk. Yeah, he, write, he has a lot of his songs are about uh, what he dreams about or what his like, hallucinations are. If you're blind, it's obviously a lot different when you're hallucinating because the experience is totally different. Yeah, there was a thread on Reddit where they were asking blind people, what's it like to hallucinate? Yeah. And... They were saying they could see, some of them could see colors. Really? The, yeah. I kind of think, it's got to be like meditating, right? Because when you meditate, you, uh, I see all kinds of stuff. I see crazy stuff. And like, I feel like, like what? Uh, I see a lot of like geometric stuff. Lately, when I've been meditating, I, I think about like shapes and I'm able to like basically draw things in my head and I can sometimes draw them afterwards. But sometimes, a lot of times it's three dimensional things that are moving, like a spot, like a, it's kind of hard to explain. Like maybe like a something like from Fantasia or something, where it's things that are moving and and weird animated geometric patterns and stuff. What do you think that is? I don't know what it is. It's got to be just it's just the brain um, moving. It's just maybe it's a physical expression of of thought or something. I don't really, I don't really know what it is. You know that Elliot Smith lyric that I goes, don't. and I, I, I'm not clearly not a great singer. Anymore, I used to be had uh, quite a career as a singer when I in my so teens. So you had that accident. Yep. Uh, he's got that great lyric that goes, "I see colored bars when I come." You ever he heard does. That? Yeah. No, I've never heard it's that. It's so cool, man. But it's like I see colored bars when I come. Yeah, but it's like, have you ever had that thing happen when you're tripping? And you have an orgasm, or you're just tripping, and you don't have an orgasm, but you close your eyes, and you see these very specific, yeah, very detailed specific. shapes, right? Like they, that that seem more than just like a random uh, thing that your brain's spitting out, but like it seems like you're looking at a language that you just don't know. Or... Yeah, sometimes I see some like I see an absolute color, and I'm seeing that color for the. I feel like I'm seeing it for the first time, or seeing it for the, not for the first time, but the first time I'm actually. Like oh I understand it like I've I got the I got the information download from that. What thing. do you mean an absolute color? Like I like uh, like I see something. It's like I see it the whole thing purely. It's and it's absolute. I guess the best way to liken it is you know how you can listen to a song like a fifty times right? You can listen to it. Yes. But there's one time when you actually when you really hear it really yes. it really like hits home because there's something about it that, oh I get this now I kind of yeah. I'm hearing the thing. It was trying to be conveyed. Yes. And that I feel like that's maybe what happens sometimes is in those experiences. You get, you all you kind of understand it, but you don't understand it in terms of being able to describe it or or to write to be able to describe it or to ascribe anything to it. You just understand it. You just know. You know, Gnosis. It's like, it's like a thing. You just all of a sudden you just know something. So this is the Platonic ideal you're talking about. Like sometimes you witness the eternal form that all forms are based on. Is that what you're saying? It's like you feel it, man. Yeah. You just feel it. Yeah, right. And that's a great way to put it. You feel it. Because, like, so often you think that you've gotten tired of a certain song or some kind of music, and then you do hear it in just the right setting and just the right mood, and suddenly you realize that it wasn't that you got tired of the song, 
but rather that you just didn't have the ability to open your heart up to what level that that song was functioning at. Totally. When that shit happens, it's a spike into your heart. It's a blast. It's a blast. It's a fucking... Because when people record music, I don't think that they're just... I think that somehow in the future, they're going to figure this out. But in those strings of ones and zeros that a song is transformed into when it's in its intermediary state between uh, being played and going into your ears, Mm -hmm. in those ones and zeros, somehow there is captured emotion or feeling. Yeah. It's capturing... It's, it's, a, it's a kind of digitized telepathy transmitting the emotional state of the singer or the, and the performer into your mind. Not mm-hmm. just the music. 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 Mm-hmm. Not just the music. Mm-hmm. Not just the music. <laughs> not just the music. You know, music is a beautiful thing. When I'm reincarnated... I'm going to come back as a musical note. (laughs) That way, can't nobody capture me. They can use the hell out of me, but ain't nothing too much they can do to me. They can mess me up. They can play the wrong note. They can play a C, but they can't really destroy a C. All it is is a tone. So I'm going to come back as a note. (laughs) Bright moments. Bright moments. Bright moments like making love in a leaky waterbed in a Holiday Inn.